So now we are going to start. So today we will start to revise the chapter number one. That is the first chapter, rocks and windows and their extraction. So we will see in this chapter that what are the rocks, what are the type of the rocks and how you can extract them, which method are used for that. So as the introduction, the Earth is a rocky planet. It is made of rocks and metal ores. You know, the chemistry, as a chemistry student, you know the ore. Ore means a rock which contain any metal inside in the form of compound. Like uh, ore of aluminium is bauxite. Ore of iron is hematite, like this. So that which makes the den uh, densest planet in the solar system. They're saying if you talk about the density, so the Earth is a most dense planet on the, the solar system. Now, here's some definition rock. What is a rock? Rock is a solid mass of geological materials, which means the minerals are there, or rock is a solid collection of mineral grain that grow together, become and cemented together. For example, there are small particles, they combine together and they stick together. So then they form the rock. Now we will see the formation of rock. Formation of a rock, the planet, uh, the Earth was, the planet was formed. They're now they're talking about the history of the planet that 4.5 billion years ago that Earth came into being and uh, then you have, they have the force of gravity, pull the heavier elements and forming the core. So now if you talk the structure of the earth, so you'll find the inner part of the earth, this one, it is known as inner core. And this yellow one, they are known as outer core. In other words, you can say that you can divide this in one, like this one. This is all core. And this core is divided into two parts, inner core and outer core. And after that, you have the mantle, this part, this here. And after that, the upper one is known as the crust. Okay, the most outer side or the most upper part is known as crust. So this is the main, you can say, uh, if you do the cross section, like in biology, you do the cross section, mean you cut something and you'd see the layer. Same way, if you do the cross section of the earth from a side, you'll find these different structure in the earth. Or you can divide the earth into different in, in terms of its layers. Once again, if you are going to see in further, because these are the different, in different books, you will find the different uh, diagrams. So I try to give the common ones here, which are mostly there. So again, you have the, this is the inner core. Then this is outer core. Then this is the lower mantle. And this is the upper mantle. And this is the crust. You can find also this one in such a way. Then again, this another diagram. You see this diagram, let me enlarge it. Okay, so here, this is the inner core. This is the outer core. This is the lower mantle, upper mantle, asthenosphere, lithosphere, oceanic crust. This one, sorry, this is oceanic. Oceanic means ocean. For example, now you have this land. Here is the ocean. And this ocean, the bottom of this ocean is known as oceanic crust. And this flat land is known as continental crust. So here in the exam, they will not ask in such a way that the lithosphere, stenosphere, but the previous diagram, which I have shown to you, you should know about that one. What is that? For example, this diagram and this diagram. And after that, you should know the difference between oceanic crust and the continental crust. Oceanic crust, again, simply in the ocean, the bottom of the oceans, that is known as oceanic crust. And if it is a flat land, 
and no water. So that's known as continental crust. So you should aware of these things. 